Hey guys, it's Saturday the 5th of November and it is now 1.15 in the morning. Right, something a little bit different this time. <clears throat> um, I've got a job lot of Lego that I wanted to show you. I actually picked it up yesterday afternoon. Um, found it on Facebook Marketplace and it was here in town and I think it was listed something like a week ago. It had been on there at least a week. Um, so I was actually surprised that this was actually still available. When I inquired about it, I thought, um, you know, I was going to be told, sorry, sold, or just not get a reply. Sometimes they don't, people don't reply. They just remove the ad, because people forget about the ads. <clears throat> anyway, oops. Um, I actually bought all of this just because I wanted three sets. Um, and there's a bunch of it I am probably going to put on eBay. Um, to get rid of it because I'm not really interested in it and that's the uh, Star Wars stuff but uh, here it is um, and the three sets I want to definitely keep there's this one this one and that one which I even think myself is quite weird because I know nothing about football. I'm not even interested in football. I don't even watch it on TV. I don't even watch it when the World Cup is on. I'm just really not interested in it. But this whole lot, and I think I've counted about 16 sets here because there is several um, Star Wars sets hidden in here as well and a few up the back here. There's a couple laying over which I'll show you in a minute. Um, you know, I paid 60 quid for the whole lot. Um, granted, some of them would seem to have bits missing. This has got some bits missing. I've got to um, source some replacement parts. I mean, I need another one of these. And a figure. I don't know which figure is missing, though. So I don't know which one I'm going to have to try and find. Because it's meant to be there. It's a five-a-side, basically. And I need the goalie as well. The goalie for this end is missing. Uh, but at least the football's there. Now there's... I've actually noticed on the box set for all three sets, they do have a football. So I don't know if each of the sets is meant to have one. I'll have to look into that. But At least this one's got one and that's the main set. We've got the goalie for this side. What I actually like about this, it is actually a fully functional set, you know, you can actually um, have you and a buddy here, you can actually play it. Didn't Sabutio or something have a similar sort of thing going? You know, where they had a board like this and the players on it, you could just apparently launch your figures across the pitch. <laughs> you could just do that. Something like that, anyway. Actually reminds me of those old football tables, you know, where you have a table and you have the bars. Like three or four um, figures on a bar and you'd have like uh, three handles one side, three the other, plus your goals. You'd have two of you, you'd twist it and pull them and it's great fun. So yeah. These are all boxed as well. I actually looked this one up on eBay and I found one that sold boxed instructions and everything and obviously 100% complete for 85 quid. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'd ever get that for this even if it was 100% complete because it's not in the best condition. Some of these stickers, I don't know if you can see that but they are starting to peel off. I don't think they're damage damaged, um, but they are starting to peel. But I managed to find the copyright um, date on the instruction manuals for these, and it says copyright 2000, so that's when these would have been released. Uh, that's in the wrong place. There we go, that might be why it didn't look right to me. Yeah, so. 20 odd years old, so I think these stickers are done well. <clears throat> um, 
um, so I wouldn't know what it would be worth as it is if I was to sell it separately. I don't want to. I want to keep this, you know, in my collection. That's why I bought it. I want it in my collection. Um, <clears throat> just for some reason, it just interested me, even though I have no interest in football whatsoever. Um, I think I might actually have the f missing figure in my collection as well. I know I've got some of the Lego Sports figures in my collection. I just can't remember what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do tomorrow. When I've had breakfast and whatnot. I'm gonna go through what I've got and uh, to see if I can find them. We'll see what I can find. You never know. I might have the missing parts. Um, I think the van is the one that's mostly complete, apart from this poor chap. He's missing his hairpiece and his legs. Um, but other than that, all the other figures are there. Ah! But I have noticed that the bus driver has actually got the wrong legs on, and I know where they go. I don't know if you can see in there, but he's got brown legs. He's meant to have black. Well, I know where the black legs are. They are on. <laughs> this figure, which is currently in the lounge on my uh, PC desk. So that's good. I can just swap those around and they will be correct. Um, actually, for this set, which is the you know, spectator stand, he's present. He's just missing his baseball cap. And he's got his flag that's there. He's there. Well, his torso is. The rest of him isn't. <laughs> No, neither are his binoculars, but I've got hundreds of those, quite literally. I'm not even exaggerating when I say I've got hundreds of them. <laughs> that was a very popular part. Um, I've got the megaphone thing that she's holding, and I've got her as well. She, like I said, she's just got the wrong legs on. <clears throat> and I think, other than that, that set is complete. I've got the, um, I suppose you'd call them scorecards. They're in a tub over here as well. I don't know if they're all there, but at least some of them are, which is better than none. They're in here. See, again, I don't know what it's meant to have, but there is actually quite a bundle of them in here, to be honest. Got number one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not actually uh, sure how many there's meant to be. I've got to go through the instructions. Um, I'm just happy that the football is with this one. Yes, there. Boing. <coughs> yeah. Um. Oh, I need to replace that as well. I need a new, uh, new flagpole. I've got plenty of these flagpoles in white. It looks like someone's actually taken a big bite of that one. Um, but as far as I can see, apart from the two figures and the stand missing from this one, and that flagpole, I think this is actually relatively complete. It's just the stickers are... Um, some of the stickers aren't too bad, and some of them... Are about, I mean, I suppose with some of these that are peeling, maybe I could dab a little bit of glue of some sort just behind them and just glue them back down. Um, there's one completely missing there. This one here is almost missing. But the rest of them aren't too bad. This one's got a corner missing, unfortunately. <clears throat> the Adidas one is actually probably one of the best looking ones here, and that one. Two Adidas ones and they're um, looking good. Mind storms, I remember that thing. <laughs> That's one thing that I do remember. Right, so what else did I get? Well, a Lego City set from 2005. Bought locally as well. Roy's is a local store. That's how much they were brand new back then. They don't do little sets like this anymore. I mean, they do small sets, 
but they cost you about nine pounds now. <laughs> I think I should bring back sets like this. You know, pocket money priced sets. Um, I've also got this racers set. It's actually assembled in there. Same with that fire quad bike. Aqua Raiders, that's one I'm definitely want to keep. One I can um, grammar correctly. I've got a bionicle figure there, I'm not interested in that. I might see if a friend of mine wants that just to decorate his place up with. Uh, I want to keep this one as well. The Mars Missions one. And a poly bag here. Which has got the Batman movie, Batmobile in it. Oh, it looks like it's a three in one poly bag as well. You've got a choice of models there you could have made. What I would have done. I would have bought three of these so I could make all three of them and then display all three together. Um, but the rest of it on here, I don't know if you can see it very well, but we've got Star Wars sets. We just uh, raise you up a bit and I'm likely going to put these as a job lot on eBay because I'm not interested in Star Wars. I've got a few figures over here to one side that I want to keep. Other than that, I'm not really interested in any of this other stuff. That looks like it's got a load of bits missing. So I will go through all of these and just make sure they are complete and assembled correctly. Nope, that is actually assembled right, that's fine. Got that one as well. Yep, that looks fine. Just put that back where it's meant to be. And I've got that one as well. That is looking grand. I will go through it properly at some point. I have got the box for that one as well. I just realised that is actually upside down. No, it's actually meant to go that way up, so... Ah! That's how it's meant to go. Yeah. There we go. That's how it's meant to go. Ah! Ah! Oh. No, it's just my eyeballs. I thought I was a bit missing on the uh, bottom here. But it is just my eyeballs. Oh yeah, just a box of uh, well, it looks like random Lego to me. Okay. Well, we've got the instructions for this, so we don't appear to have any more of the bits. <laughs> There's no wheels or anything in here. I actually, this is another 2005 set. I actually um, bought this back in the day, so I have got the parts for it. In fact, it is such a simple little kit. I could probably build about 10 of these out of my Lego. I'm not exaggerating. However many buckets I've got. Probably not quite 10 actually, because I don't think I've got 10 of them. <clears throat> so I'm going to clear up on here. And these instructions at least for the Star Wars sets up there. Oh, that's another, that's another two. What's the copyright date on this one? 2008. I've got a funny feeling uh, most of these would probably be 2008 or around that period. www.lego.com Oh, 
All right, so that one's 2009. Oh yeah. Oh, it's that. I keep thinking this one is missing, but no, it is actually here. Again, it's just me being stupid. <laughs> yeah, everything, all the Star Wars are there, and they do actually look complete. I haven't checked that one yet, though. And that one just needs two Stormtroopers stuck on it. Which I'm going to do now before I forget. I think this one came with a box as well, but uh, oh, looking at it, it might have a bit missing off the back of it. Uh, the instructions for that one aren't here. Where are they gone? Could be in the lounge. Could still be in the box. See, that's why I got was going to get rid of the box because it's rather, rather tatty, warm. So, what is actually missing? Ah, well, a couple of bits missing from the looks of this. So we're missing that bit as well. It looks like we've, I need a stormtrooper with a yellow marking on his helmet. Um, but I've not seen one of those in here. This guy, for some reason, has got his helmet on backwards. All different helmets. Many um, yeah, that one might actually have incorrect figures, unfortunately. And that is one thing I do not have in my whole collection. Yeah, so this is meant to have the four figures, and it is missing that other bit as well. Yeah, I'm sure someone would still want it for the figures at least. Anyway, I think that is it for this video. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and if you want me to do other videos like this, let me know in the comments. I could even do videos like this when I get, you know, a job like diecast cars in or anything for the glitch. You just let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.